you know, I promised us that the next videos or episodes of this channel or from this channel would focus on the six principles that I put in my book. And today I've come up with one, which is S, the letter S in Pearls, Tested and Proven Secrets. And S is one thing I'm really passionate about. The S there stands for separate or stand out. And that's why I've titled this video today, Why You Must Always Stand Out, or How, better still, How You Can Always Stand Out, How You Can Always Stand Out in any place, be it your place of work, in your place of worship, in any way. Have you, have you been in a place where somebody just walks in and the place went in like some energy was pumped into the atmosphere? And there's a sudden change in the place because somebody who is outstanding walked in. What makes that person so thick, so different, so unique? Well, whatever made the person so unique and so different is inside of you. I'm going to ask a question again. Have you walked into a place where people are talking or you're in a meeting and suddenly somebody stands up to begin to talk and everybody is like, wow keeping quiet, listening, because a person is making a whole lot of sense, making a whole lot of positivity, adding value to the entire atmosphere. That is what standing out is all about. Standing out is when you do not join the crowd, but you separate yourself for something that you're known for. In the book of Romans, chapter 12, verses 1 and 2, we're told to not conform to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of our minds. That we may prove what is God's best for us. You know, we're all created to be the best. That is an undisputable fact. But you can't talk about being the best if you are in the crowd, if you conform to everything that the society throws at you. And trust me, there is a lot that the society throws at us. They want us to look like one person. They give us the standard measurement for so many things. And so before you know it, you lose your individuality. Welcome to The Real You. This is a channel that is specially designed to bring out the you that is in you. That's why we are called The Real You. This is a community that is concerned about not just existing, but living life to the fullest. It's a community of doers and dreamers. It's a community that knows that there's a hero and a heroine inside of you. You're welcome. To be part of the community is very easy. You listen to videos like this, share them with your friends, invite your friends, tell them there is a place that you can not only be educated, but you can be inspired to be the best version of you. Beyond that, if you haven't hit the subscription button, please do so, and then the bell icon, and then go ahead and make your comments. Your comments are very valuable to me and to the community at large. I won't say that, we're just going to go into the thing that we're talking about today, how you can always stand out and why you must always stand out. First of all, you can't be talking about standing out from the crowd if you do not know who you are. So that's the first thing. Who are you? Now, the part of the world where I come from, if you meet somebody and then you ask the person, who are you? Especially when there's an altercation, people do not take it kindly. They do not take it funny. They do not find it funny. They do not take it easy. It's like you're challenging their very being. But you know, that's a question that everybody needs to answer. And one of the ways that you can answer that question, who are you, is to, is to look at yourself and identify your unique strengths. In business and in management and all that, it is referred to as your unique selling point. What is that that makes you different from every other person? Why should you be employed like they ask in the business world or in offices or the question that always comes from employers to employees, why should you be employed? Why should I buy your product? What is the thing that makes you different? That is your strength. 
It is that thing that you can do that no other person can do the way that you can do it. Yes, let me explain further. Have you seen two people make exactly the same pot of food, the same pot of soup, the same dish, same ingredients, same timing, but it never tastes the same, can never taste the same, can never taste exactly alike? That's because they're unique. Even in a tree, a mango tree, an orange tree, tree if you pluck the fruits they all taste different that is the thing that we're talking about it is with that thing that you can impact your world that is your uniqueness that is your dif that is what differentiates you from every other person now we're told in the book of matthew chapter 25 that every one person has that thing it is called your gift your gift is different from my gift. My gift is different from the next person's gift. But everybody certainly has a gift, at least one gift. Most times we go through life like the man in the book of Matthew 25. He would say to himself, I'm afraid. Why are you afraid to use that gift? That is the thing that makes you stand out. You know, I like the story in the book of Judges about the different plants that were asked to come and become kings. They all had reasons not to become kings. But the story of that story for me is the fact that the olive tree says, I use, I use my fruit to make oil that makes the faces of people to shine. And then you go to the vine, the fig tree rather, the fig tree says, oh, I bring wine that gladdens people's hearts. And so they all understood the different roles they play. That's their uniqueness. The same thing applies to all of us. We are all unique and we're different. So you need to identify that thing that makes you you. That's why this channel is called The Real You. What makes you you is not what makes me me. But you see, most times society wants to make us to all be like the same. They make us, they, they want to tell us, until you have a particular shape, you're not beautiful. Until you build a particular house, you're not wealthy. Until you buy a particular car, you are not wealthy. And so on and so forth. But hell no. All of those things are good. But that's not what defines you. You are rather the one who defines all those things. Because those things have expiry date. Yeah, that said, it's not just enough for you to identify your strengths. But it is in using your strengths to add value to humanity that makes the difference. If you identify your strengths and you do nothing with your strengths, then you are as good as being in the crowd. But when you single out yourself and you use your strengths to begin to add value, that's when the hero in you comes out. That's when the heroine in you comes out. That is what makes you stand out always. You want to stand out in life, you want to be different in life, then look at you. Identify your strengths. You can acquire skills, improve on your, your, your strengths, work on your strengths. But beyond that, use your strengths to add value to life. Every strength you have, like the man who had to, had to trade with it, Trading is you give something for more. So more came. Trading with your strengths, trading with your gifts means that you have to add value to humanity. Use it to solve problems. Use it to meet the needs of people. A mango does not eat itself. The fruits that come out of a mango tree are given to people to eat. That means that the fruits that come out of a mango tree are not eaten by the mango tree, but rather human beings and all come to eat of it. That's exactly what your strengths are. You use them to add value to humanity. Whatever you add, you use to add value to humanity, outlives you. It, it is what we refer to as living footprints on the sands of time. So if you want to stand out, leave the crowd. If you want to stand out, identify who you are. If you want to stand out, identify your strengths. If you want to stand out, use your strengths to add value to 
humanity. That is the only way you can stand out. I give this example of something very little that I began to do. Some time ago, I discovered that my local language was getting extinct. So I decided to open a YouTube channel. I have another YouTube channel that I teach language. I did it for a few months, but for some time I haven't even added new videos. But I can assure you, the doors that that channel has opened for me, I would never have entered into some of those doors. People call me, people talk to me, and I'm amazed at that. Just because I use a little thing that I know about my local language to start a channel. I could have just stayed back to say, oh, I'm not the best. Honestly, I'm not the best when it comes to my local language. But I went beyond that. I just said, let me do something for posterity. Let me do something that people can always come back to, to learn the language. And trust me, it's beginning to yield dividend just because I use that little thing to add value. It doesn't have to be big, but the only way you can stand out is to use what you have to add value to humanity. That way you will never be in the crowd. When I go to the midst of where people from my local community are now, they will say, oh, you are the one who has that YouTube channel where you teach our language to people. And I've had people call me from several continents of the world just for that little thing I began to do. That's what it means to stand out. Use what you have to stand out. As long as you are with the crowd, nobody would know you. But when you single out yourself from the crowd, and do something different from what the crowd is doing with what you have, you will stand out. That's what this channel is all about. In case you're here for the first time, you are welcome. This is The Real You. My name is Patricia Traore. We're building a community of people that are not just dreamers, but doers. We're building a community of people that are going to manifest the heroes and heroines in them. We're building a community of people that would not just exist, but leave their footprints on the sands of time. So once again, you're welcome. And please don't forget to hit the subscription button and the bell icon so that next time I do a video like this, which is usually very, very interesting, I'm sure you've enjoyed this one, it will get right into your box. You don't want to miss any. And then comment and share with your friends. Tell them there is a channel that does not only educate you, what inspires you to be the best. Until I come your way again, just stay strong, be you, be real. And remember, you are created to make an impact. You are created for success. You are created to stand out.